This tutorial is to show you how to perform total protein normalization using ImageLab software. The first step is to acquire the images. When acquiring your images, it is important that you acquire the stain-free blot image before adding any chemiluminescent substrate to the blot. Once your images are acquired, you need to ask ImageLab to link your images by creating a multi-channel image. This is done by going to File and clicking on Create Multi-Channel Image. This brings up a window with the open images displayed on the left-hand side and the channels available on the right. We will drag each of the open images into available channels and click OK. ImageLab has now created your multi-channel image, including an overlay image of the stain-free blot and the chemiluminescent blot. The multi-channel overlay is not required for analysis, so we'll simply remove this by clicking the RGB button on the toolbar above the image. We'll also ask ImageLab to enlarge the images so it makes it easier for analysis by clicking the Fit to Window button. The next step is to find the lanes in our stain-free blot. This is done by selecting Lane and Bands in the Analysis toolbox on the left-hand side, then clicking the Automatic Lane Finder button. Once ImageLab has created the lane frame, you may need to resize and adjust the lanes to include all available data. When you are happy with the lane frame, the next step is to ensure that the background profile in each lane is similar. This increases the accuracy of quantitation. The simplest way to do this is by changing the rolling disk size to 70, then click Apply. To make sure that this has had the desired effect, click the Lane Profile button, and then scan through each lane and make sure that the gray section underneath the red lines is similar. If there are not, adjust the disk size accordingly. When you are happy with this, close the lane profile box and copy and paste the lane frame from your stain-free blot to your chemiluminescent image by using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. With the lane frame copied, We'll ask ImageLab to detect the bands in the chemiluminescent image. This is done by going back to our toolbar on the left-hand side, selecting bands, and then clicking Detect Bands. A number of sensitivity options will pop up. Choose the appropriate sensitivity and then click Detect. Close down this box and ImageLab will have detected all of our bands on the chemiluminescent lot. With this step complete, we'll go back to the Analysis Toolbox and click on the Normalization button. Here we'll indicate where the normalization data is. This is done by going to the drop-down menu underneath where it says Normalization Channel, and we'll select Stain-Free Blot. Also, this is a place to check the correct method of normalization is being used. We're doing total protein normalization, so we need to select total lane protein. Now ImageLab knows where to find the normalization data and what method of normalization to use. We now need to indicate where our molecular weight standards are. This prevents ImageLab using the molecular weight standard to create the normalization factor. To do this, we simply return to our analysis toolbox and click Molecular Weight Analysis Tools. Small checkboxes will appear under each lane. Select the lane where the molecular weight standard is. In this instance, it's lane 1. This will exclude the data in this lane from the creation of the normalization factor. With this done, we are now ready to view the data. This is done by clicking on the Analysis Table button at the top of the screen. This will bring up information about each lane, including band number, volume intensity before normalization, 
normalization factor and the normalized volume. As you can see, there is no normalization data for lane one because this is where our molecular weight standard was. As we scroll down to lane two, we start to see some of this data. Lane two being the first sample lane, therefore the reference lane for the rest of the normalization procedure. This data can be exported to Excel by clicking on the Export Analysis Table to Excel button.